You just did something very exciting, and I was talking about with our audience member over here today about that uh, very purchase that he made. Okay. Um, he purchased a brand new 2023 450 RMZ. RMZ. Banana bike. R banana wow. crew. Checking in. And I think... For how much money? I but, mean, yeah, that was the steal of the century. I think he was like it was five like grand. Under five. No, it was fifty-two. Fifty-two hundred bucks. That's incredible. Out the yeah, door. Insane. And out I was like, door. for a brand new four fifty. So okay, hang on. You've been around the game for a while. Suzuki kind of has a bad rap right now. Is is that a power move? Oh yeah, really. That's a good bike for Jamie feel, too. I do feel you like. feel like it's kind of like buying a penny stock in case like Roxon ends up on that bike? Well, that's what Whoa. I said today. I was like, well, if Roxon ends up on that, but then somebody else said something that made sense to that also. What if they in twenty four? Say Re Roxon does well in the Suzuki, right? And then in twenty four they revamp their their moto program and okay. they come out with a new platform and then the twenty three's got the kickstart. So should there be shame in someone getting a banana bike today? Absolutely not. No. 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 Why? Elaborate. Any you go. You're because good. it's it's good. Have you ridden one recently? No? Yes? Yeah. At uh in Vermont. That was a twenty one probably. Oh yeah, yeah. I it's really a, forgot about it's that. It's fine. Suzuki's are great, to be honest. For a guy like me, I love slow dirt bikes, and it's awesome. I mean, the 450 is still way too fast for me, but the yeah. Suzuki 250 is a blast. They turn like a dream. Yeah, I'll are. tell you that. I feel like for the sure. color. I'm biased Looks to Honda because cool. I have a Honda, but it's like my second favorite colorway. Like an OEM, just like yeah, the yeah. black, yellow, with the white. Blue, the, with blue the blue looks blue. well, yeah. And it comes with freaking, uh, what do you call it? The What color the, wheels? The upper tubes are coated. Yeah, they're a nice, yeah. It's like pretty gold. factory stuff going yeah. on there. Just kickstart. Is that really the only downside? Are there any I downsides so. to it besides kickstart? Uh, they, they say at uh, high speed, the suspension gets a little bit unsettled. The chassis is a little bit unsettled. Mm. You, but is that something you could fix, you think? Yeah, I, think I mean, so. really, with you a, should put suspension a, on anything. Kinda, yeah, right? but you need someone to test with you, I would think. And that for a local guy, maybe that's not possible. But okay. I feel like people, like I've read the forums of people saying like, well, the motor hasn't been updated in forever and it's slow compared to the rest. But like, I, like, I don't know how the rest of like the amateur, we're in the amateur corner over here. But like, mm. like I watch like the 125 Dream Race every year. Okay. And it's like, you could give me the most factory 450. I will never go that fast ever so it's like when people are like the motor on the rm isn't very great it's like what does that matter to 99 percent of the riding population i don't have you you guys you guys are faster and you've done fast guy things to your dirt bikes uh is it expensive if you were to like let's talk if we're going to try and make it competitive to the the blue crew bike or whatever maybe a little port and polish like nothing crazy maybe a sprocket run like what do you think to get it on par for us we did we did head work okay. uh we did piston did you ride one ecu ride one what a, a suzuki? suzuki no this oh, was oh. on a ktm oh, okay. we spent twenty three thousand dollars on my ktm wow huh Wait, 450 or what? Two? What? 250 f oh i was about <laughs> and, it, and it lasts 15 hours max holy what? moly yeah. what that's so it's what james that's that's listen don't <laughs> first of all members? don't get upset at me it wasn't your fault I did it. right yeah yeah okay it, for it, that's it's, a bad this idea this is a conversation for another time but okay. no but this is no, a good conversation, conversation but you're a good for, frame of yeah. reference here okay yeah. i like this yeah so okay. it was but at the, least it wasn't a 450 it was the it. fastest 250f i have ever ridden it was uh -huh. on par with my 350 wow Who did, Who wow uh Twisting? x pro no x pro oh. did the motor um Don't new england company right. yeah new england company what's the most you've ever put into a bike zero wow yeah for those <laughs> if you're following aj's youtube channel right now <laughs> Which and you're you following be. along with any of his dialogue it's i'm tired and my bike is slow <laughs> which that, that's honestly about. if you found this podcast and you're not paying attention to aj's youtube that would who be are impressive you? and yeah. what are you doing because that's a, <laughs> like that's that'd be so weird that'd be an interesting no, story i want to know the demographic it, of like i just like the podcast i've never heard of youtube <laughs> if that person's out there contact us uh send us a letter in the mail or however you get yeah. in touch with people yeah, yeah. yeah. get your pigeon your yeah uh yes yeah. so that's interesting that's really interesting. But yeah. 450 back to the Suzuki thing? Yeah. Okay, so it's good you enough, can speak right? on that then. Worth it. Did it make a difference? Motor-wise, yes. But I'll tell you what, what, my suspension setup was terrible. 
Mm. Okay. Right? I had but like, no I factor had, in longevity. Like, would you say worth it? Long with the motor. The, see, the expensive part here was the suspension. Yeah. So okay. that that price okay. does include like a kit suspension. But right. Right. my but, question was a little bit framed because I know that there's tiers yep. to things that you can do with a dirt bike. Okay. And I've yes, we all know that there are kids that go out to Loretta's and they have like grenade motors where it's like one run and done. It's like yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about I've heard you could do like a little bit or what were you saying? Sorry for those of you off camera. It was the SR 450. Yeah, yeah. It just has like a little bit of head work. Yeah. yeah. So, that's, so he that's said what a little did. clean up on the head from the stock bike and it went from 56 to 60. 60 but on a 450, if we're talking 450 specifically, you would never, you don't want that. No. Unless right. yeah, you I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, why are we I doing this a to a 450? One. Unless you can control it. Yeah. So that's where the argument with Suzuki is like, okay, the biggest thing with 450 is handling and mapping. So right. you would want right. to get access to an ECU that you could have professionally tuned and tested. Like if you're gonna spend your money anywhere, mm -hmm. if you're riding a 450, first of all, get trained properly so you know what <laughs> you're doing. Second of Where all- Where can people do that, AJ? I don't know, man. Oh, that's a tough I don't one. Know. Where, Someone should do something about yeah. it. You should Google it, they'll find it. Uh, no, don't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else comes up. Yeah, we haven't dialed in our, uh, what is it called? Our SEO. SEO. We're, yeah, we we're, working on it. we're working on that. We're working on it. No. Okay, go ahead. ECU. Biggest we put thing. all our money in a podcast set. <laughs> <laughs> we got, so we, we got these trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we We're leveling up podcast-wise, but my bike's still stock. So this are you is gonna a talk podcast about, set by Jackson and James. If I have a budget of eight grand, whatever most of the 250s cost, you go to the shop and that's what you got. Or is there an option where there's a dealer out there that might be sitting on like an old 2022 that they just can't get rid of. They'll ship it out the door, five grand, and then you have like, Three grand, three grand of money to play with. So it's like my question is: Could oh, you get yeah, your yeah. suspension valved, set for you, mm -hmm. and do a little bit of head work, and have a bike that's like dialed in for you, and it's a little bit faster than most of the other stock options? Yeah. What would you guys say is the priority list? Like, if you have that bit of change to to fix it up right, like, what would you say is like priority A, B, C on a four fifty or two? If you go probably two fifty. First of all, though, better. back to the year thing. This is where it gets tough because if they go to a new platform the next year, everything that you have will not always fit. So you need yeah. to be strategic I mean, when you go for the leftovers. But that's first not of all. up to people when they decide. Exactly, but, but usually, you can kind of guess. When, yeah, but, exactly. So if they just come out with a new layout, that's probably the worst time to do it. You probably want to wait a year to do it. Well, we're talking about the Suzuki here, and it hasn't yeah. been updated in like twenty-seven <laughs> Very years. Very good point. So. <laughs> yeah. Do you so, know how many years has been? Isn't it, hasn't it been like legitimately close to 10? Did you I guys know that I raced 10, uh, Suzuki 250 and 450? Really? No. I didn't. In 2015. Who did? Yeah. Me. How old are you? You did? Yeah. I kind of just <laughs> remember that. I uh -huh. did 250 East Coast and I did 450 West. I made my first ever 450 main event on a Suzuki in my second try. Wow. I won the LCQ against like Brett Metcalf and a bunch of really fast guys. What? Yeah. In my second 450 race ever. I think Jamie's on to something. And that was on a Suzuki. Just remember. So this is the problem. And I problem. beat Josh Hansen in Vegas. I got like ninth in the 250 East West shootout in what? Vegas on a Suzuki what? 250F. This is the problem. He's but on I will the wrong say, bike. I will say I remember hating yeah, both my bikes problem. that whole year. Well, oh, you didn't like them. But I trained, I trained kind of going into that season. So I was, just, I was a little faster okay, okay. than I normally would be. So would you go buy a banana bike and have fun with it and build it up or no? For five grand? Yeah. What, how much are the other 450s? A lot. Ten. They're like 10 out the door. Yeah. Starting. Oh, Starting. My KTM 350 23, my practice bike, was 11.5. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, That's my. US yeah. too. You know how much that is in my country? In your fake dollars? <laughs> in my homeland? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, that, I, I, sure. But I wouldn't buy a 450. No, no, no. Me personally, I, no. if you're asking me personally, I know we're talking about 450s. I have no interest in even really riding one, even casually. Mm. Unless I'm, you can find a 23 for half price, then like, why not? <laughs> I can't believe you got that crazy. for 5200. Wait, okay, Jamie so let's will, put it, I want to put everybody on the spot. 
who would go out five grand, a couple grand extra, make a banana bike super fast. So you're telling me I have eight grand in my pocket Yep. and I can do whatever I want with it? Yep. I'd probably buy a two stroke. Oh. Probably wouldn't go Suzuki. Okay. I would probably buy a two stroke. How much are two strokes? My, the 300 was 92. Jeez, so we can't Louis. quite get Wait, that. Wait, just priced him south of his yeah, own budget. This, that's not the game. No, no. You failed so your own game. Saying, hey, Sorry. here's the game. And you're like, but He's, what no. if I change everything? You're not going first. What if long. I had a budget of eight grand and I spent 10,000? No, no, no. That's okay. So what, what bike? Yeah. This is why you have $8,000. What bike do you buy? I'm buying a Suzuki. Oh, you are? Yep. Now I am because you guys just made fun of me. No! So. <laughs> you can buy a two-stroke if it's in the 8000 nope. budget. Don't want Jeez. one anymore. Uh, My answer is no, I'm not buying a Suzuki. What are you buying for $8,000? $8,000? My, it, well, anything else I could get for eight grand. Which is? It all depends. Oh, for you, really you can't go to, get anything you, for If you find grand. the right dude in New Hampshire, you, you can buy at these games. a brand new bike for less than eight No, grand. you can't. Yeah, sure you can. There's no tax. Maybe a Cowie. Cowie. Cowie 250F? Yeah. For yeah. less than eight grand? Oh, they're yeah. doing the rebate thing but, again. Yeah. So you'd probably be at like 65 with the, after the rebate. I'd so buy it'd that. be 75 out the door and then yeah. you'd get a thousand like back. I do like the Suzuki though. Why don't you stop ask me the question? Why don't you stop it? Ask me the question. Why don't you stop? Jackson, ask you have eight grand. Would you buy the banana bike? What is money though? <laughs> if we start, <laughs> I'm just trying to change the topic altogether because that's what you like to do. <laughs> Oh. My Sick, bike, dude. I was, yes, I love this. <laughs> okay, great. so it was a, you're a as really... As, you're as good as answering questions as you are as at NHL 22. Um, oh, I did get smoked Okay, so we NHL took a roundabout route to no, it sounds like. I would, I would buy a Suzuki depending on one thing. You Can I what? get Ricky Carmichael's Makita Suzuki graphics on Oh, 100%. Because then I'm in. Uh, absolutely. If you guys are enjoying these podcast clips and you want to watch full episodes, you can subscribe at club.themotoacademy.com.